Taylor Swift has a hand in saving lives, but first, major backlash against United Airlines after they kicked a Juno-nominated Canadian singer off her flight. Here's why. Walk off the earth singer Sarah Blackwood, who is seven months pregnant, says she was kicked off a United Airlines flight because her two-year-old son wouldn't stop crying. The Canadian singer, who was heading from San Francisco to Vancouver, tweeted, stayed calm, but overall discrimination. Hashtag mother haters. She furiously added, apparently my little two-year-old crying son was a big threat to United. The airline says she was removed because, quote, the child could not be secured for takeoff. The little boy was however asleep by the time she was asked to get off the plane. Blackwood and her son were rebooked on a later flight. You got that James Dean, 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 your eyes. Taylor Swift saves lives or the flashing wristbands from her 1989 concert tour do. That's what three fans are saying after they got into a car crash following Swift's concert in Louisiana last Friday. They were trapped inside their mangled vehicle. So they used their flashing bracelets as emergency flares to catch the attention of drivers passing by. All three are expected to make a full recovery. Swift read about the survival story last night and tweeted, This is unreal. I'm so happy they're okay. Speaking of happy, that's just how the singer appeared to be feeling yesterday as she and Bo Calvin Harris went on a lunch date in New York. And is that Ed Sheeran we spot tagging along? Besides being a third wheel, the Brit crooner attended the big reveal of his own wax figure at Madame Tussauds and he couldn't resist taking a selfie. It feels so right. It feels so perfect and that's what I want for the rest of my life. Just over six months after proposing to Whitney Bishop in his Iowa barn, Chris Souls is a bachelor once more. The couple has called it quits after finding love or something like it on The Bachelor. In a joint statement, they say they have mutually and amicably decided to end their engagement. They part with nothing but respect and admiration for one another and will continue to be supportive friends. But it looks like Lindsay Lohan is getting her happy ending. After years in and out of the courtroom, a judge has closed the book on her last criminal case in L.A. That means Lilo is off probation for the first time in nearly eight years. This comes after she completed her mandatory community service hours stemming from a 2012 reckless driving case. Lilo tweeted, clean slate, fresh start, and also thanked all those that helped her complete her hours in time. Finish your Oh, wow. Oh, that's a nice chair. Oh. oh, sh The Daily Show with Trevor Noah is almost here. In fact, now we know exactly when. On September 28th, the South African comedian will take over from Jon Stewart. The star-studded rom-com Aloha hits theaters this weekend, and here's why Alec Baldwin decided to take a part in the flick. Well, I remember the good times. There were no good times! Well, Cameron Crowe, who's a dear friend of mine, I love Cameron, I just adore him. He called me up, and my wife and I were uh, uh, being harassed by the paparazzi out in front of our house a lot, because uh, my daughter had been born. If you recall, Baldwin is notorious for getting into scuffles with the paparazzi, especially when he's with his family. Cameron called and said, do you want to come to Hawaii for three weeks? And I was like, oh, God, yes, oh, God, yes. Oh, thank you, Cameron. And we were there with Bradley and Emma, and uh, the whole cast was just a great group of people. You are going to wear this like Flava Flav wears a clock. And if you check out Aloha this weekend, we want to know what you think of it. All you got to do is tweet us at NCity.